Hello, starting out solitary. My name is Elliptica24 and it's week 44. And we are talking about a year and a day. Um, I've been gone for the last couple episodes, just trying to recover over the cold I've been fighting for too freaking long. <laughs> but anyways, so the topic year and a day. I am not done a year and a day, however I would like to. The biggest issue for me is most year and a days are associated with, with this very particular path in, in paganism, be it Wicca, Druid, and a varied amounts of different paths um, that I'm unfamiliar with. Um, and I don't completely resonate with any of the year and the days that they have going on. Uh, there's many books. I'm sure some of the subs will talk about the books that they may have for a year and a day. Um, I don't have any. <laughs> um, I did follow Pipeth, Pipeth, uh, Piper, <laughs> and she was doing a year and a day. Um, I wasn't fully participating, um, but it gave me an idea of what I'm not sure if it was Scott Cunningham or not, but it gave me an idea of how a year and a day would look like, um, but that was kind of specifically Wicca. I'm a witch, I'm an eclectic witch, and I do tend to be more interested in the more quote-unquote darker sides of it, or less love and light part, and more of the working with your shadow self, um, working with um, spirits, stuff like that. Um, that is what draws me the most, um, but with a year and a day, um, I have considered making my own. That would be something very intensive and very specific to my needs in the craft. Um, I'm not sure what people think about making their own, though I believe there's a number of people who have. Uh, Joanne DeVoe has, in a way, made her own year and a day. It's it's more of like, oh, what is it called, like the psycho-spiritual wheel or something, something like that. Um, and it goes with the sabbats and different things you can do for it. And it's more, it's less a day-to-day -day type thing and more of just kind of a um, around the holiday or the sabbat and that time of the year which I totally get and resonate a lot more with. <laughs> um, but again, I, I kind of like the structure of having a list of things to do. I've, I've always liked lists, I've liked organization. Um, any of this, the people in the SOS can tell you I'm, I'm pretty organized <laughs> um, and I have lots of lists. Um, but when it comes to something like this, I want to be able to put like all of my energy into it, and I often, I often find myself kind of, kind of flaking out or uh, losing heart after a time when doing something that is so long and intensive. Um, so that is why I haven't done one, and like I said, I want to make one that I feel resonates with me. Um, but obviously that's going to take a lot of time to create. <sighs> but I have kind of started, um, and I got this idea from Terry Incognito. She made a, uh, a calendar, um, and it gave her things, I believe, th things for her to do around Sabbaths and and different things to research or stuff like that. I, I can't remember completely what it was about. <laughs> it's been it's been a couple months since that came out. But what I've done is kind of made this year, um, each month I focus on a goddess. Um, and I do some very basic research, learn the correspondences associated, what it that goddess or, or there's a couple gods, but they're more like, sexually fluid, or not sexually fluid, but uh, gender fluid, um, so it kind of applies. Um, and, oh, 
I'm having a hard time with words today. I slept a lot, so <laughs> my brain's not up to full par. I I feel that working this way, which it doesn't require a daily requirement of me to focus on something and do it within a month, um, gives me enough focus, but enough leeway where if I'm not up for doing something on a certain day, I'm not going to do it. I did originally have it set to um, specific days of doing things, but I was like, no, this isn't working for me. Um, and I'm learning a lot about different goddesses and stuff. Um, this month I'm working with Yamaya, and I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly. And this is something, someone I'm not super familiar with, but have, have an interest in learning more about. So... That's basically it for the year in the day topic for me. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and if you've gone through a year in the day, or you plan on it, and how it works out for you, let me know. Talk to you guys later. Bye.